thousands of people come across the San Luis Port of Entry daily, many of them students who attend Arizona Western College. Although they are determined, there are many obstacles standing in their way. Many people here at the border do it every single day. Deanna Sanchez learned at just nine years old that crossing the border is a way of life. A 15 minute walk can turn into a 30 minute walk because you're getting exhausted. She was born in the U.S. but lives in Mexico, walking to school through the San Luis port of entry since the fourth grade. But she's noticed many things change in recent months, including what she says are stricter screenings. You never know if you're going to get a secondary uh, revision or maybe they're using the canines. So that takes a lot of time. She says cartel violence also seems to be increasing on the Mexico side. I miss that years before we didn't have that and now we do. There's shootings all the time. Now she has a car trying to block out the noise as she drives back and forth across the border, working to obtain a higher education. Learning English will be my opportunity to be able to work here. Arizona Western College has its main campus in Yuma, but just three miles from the port is their learning center in San Luis. What is pathos? Emotions, exactly. A smaller, more convenient option for transborder students. Making it to class, though, can be difficult, no matter the mode of transportation. Many students walk to the port of entry, which could be several miles. And then once they get here, it's a waiting game. There's no telling how long it could take, sometimes several hours, which is why it's one of the biggest challenges they face. I'm always stressed about it. I think, how's the line going to be tomorrow? How's the line going to be today? Eviana Rodriguez started going to AWC full time during the fall semester. She lives in Mexico, about 30 minutes away from the port. The lines walking have been horrible. They have been like 40 minutes to an hour and a half and you're standing up. So you have to be alert and you have to be um, looking at your surroundings. Once across, many take a taxi or shuttle to school and back but those can be unreliable. I would get so scared and intimidated by the driver and they sometimes would ask me weird questions like, why would you take this class or do you live alone? Just recently, Evie's grandfather offered up his car, which she will be using on two of her three school days. Although she feels safer driving, there is a lot more planning involved. I just wake up, brush my teeth and change, and leave, so that's like 5 a.m. and then if the line is long, I'll do minimum two hours. Depending on the day, she may not return home for nearly 12 hours. Then it's time to eat dinner, sleep, and repeat. A common theme for students. That is tough. That's exhausting. Advising and Student Services Coordinator Omar Heredia says that's why they are mindful when it comes to scheduling classes. Let's find you one from 8 to 9, another one from 9.30 to 10.30, and then that last one from 12 to 1. And that way you're crossing the border once, you're taking on your three classes, you have time to go to tutoring. Arizona Western College offers many other resources to help students overcome barriers, including hybrid classes, free bus services, and child care, along with general support. Statistics, absolutely. They want you to participate, they want you to be involved. And I really like that because I wouldn't go for it if they didn't push me to it. Evie is the first in her family to go to college and has dreams of becoming a physical therapist. Deanna is still trying to figure out her career path, but she is working part time as a substitute teacher on top of her academics. There's a lot of complications that come my way, but I'm still here. I'm, I'm, I'm at college and I have a, uh, what I would say it's a very good job. So I am very proud of myself and my parents. Ashley Perrette is ABC 15 Arizona.